welcome to Cafe Isra Sensible and Sensuous Cuisine. Today's recipe that I have for you is pepper relish. Yes, hot pepper relish. This is one of my favorite condiments. It's very easy to make, just has a few ingredients and you can use it with so many things. Um, in tuna fish salads, chicken salads, chicken, steak, whatever. It's very tasty. So I'm going to show you how to make it today. And it's very sensible too, so you don't have to worry about okay. your waistline. You can find all of the ingredients to this recipe on CafeIsra.com under the recipes tab. But you can basically use either serranos or jalapenos, or sometimes I use a combination of both. Um, it really, if you wanted, if you don't like spicy things and you want just a condiment, you can actually even use bell peppers and it tastes really good because it's a combination of ingredients that really uh, makes it stand out. So what I have here, since I am using serranos, um, I am going to wear some gloves because after you cut so many of them, um, that capsaicin will stay on your fingers and it won't come off and you can really feel it'll start burning your fingertips. So when you're working with hot things like that, it is a must to wear gloves. And just simple, regular, you know, gloves will be fine. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to chop this. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'll just chop the ends off and cut it in half, long ways. And then you're gonna take these halves and cut them in half, long ways again. And you're just going to probably a medium dice or a chop. It really doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be as perfect as a dice. You can chop. Um, I'll actually show you. I usually cut this all by hand. Um, but this last time, I actually used a food processor to um, get some of it done. And I'll show you the difference. This is the hand chopped one. And then this is blended in the food processor. They'll taste the same. They're really good. Now, if you do want to take some of the heat out, you are more than welcome to remove the pith, which is, let me show you, the white part on the inside right here. You can just remove the pith and the seeds out of there. You can take, you can either cut it out with your knife or take like a little spoon and take it out if you want less heat. I like the heat. I like the seeds. I want it hot. So I keep them in there. I like the texture. But if you don't, then you don't have to do that. When you do put them in the food processor, I would make sure and cut them in half and then put them in there. Sometimes the peppers, even though they look really pretty on the outside, they'll be brown on the inside and a little dry. And uh, try to avoid this as much as you can. So cut them out so you can cut them in half before you put them in the food processor. Now this is all it entails. That's really the most work you're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do just for pepper sake, because I am going to combine these within the same jar. I'm just gonna put them together. Like I said, you could do it one way or the other. I just wanted to show you both ways and what it would look like. So you're gonna mix these. And next, just a few ingredients. I'm going to add about a half cup of lemon juice. You could do a half cup to three quarter cups of olive oil. You can even not even include the olive oil or use as much as you want. I like it. I like to have that little bit of a sauce. So I put three quarters of a cup. And all the measurements are on the side. This was about a half pound of uh, relish. And of course, nothing ever tastes right if you don't put any salt on it. So it's usually about a quarter teaspoon or so. I usually do salt to taste. And obviously, um, I like to measure with my hand. <laughs> so it's not, there's no right or wrong. It's the way you like it. You like it more tangy, you put less salt. You like it saltier, add more salt. I just like it to look just like this. And so it will be a little soupy. It's kind of relishy in that peppers will absorb a lot of that. And all you do, I like to use mason jars. Um, this one's actually been sterilized, but um, you don't have to. But they keep the air out a lot better. And so that way it works really well. I actually have. Let me get a funnel. These are wonderful. I need some drawer funnels because I'm clumsy sometimes and things don't go where they're supposed to. So all you do is put it in there. I think it should all fit. Give it a little tap tap. Put it in there. Fit. I always like to see if things fit. I always push it to the limit. Super easy. Put the lid on. You can eat it right away if you want. It actually tastes a lot better after a couple of days. Make sure you refrigerate it because of the acid in there. It can go bad. 
um, and just kind of tastes a little off from the lemon juice. Um, if you like the way ready-made lemon juice tastes, you're more than welcome to use that. I hate it. It's one of the things I just cannot stand and I don't think is a replacement for it. But if you like the taste of it, you could do it. You could use a different kind of oil. If olive oil has too much of a flavor, you can use like a neutral canola oil or a grapeseed oil or something like that. And that's it. You got pepper relish. You can use it on so many different things. Um, I'll show you a recipe for my Ali avocado tuna salad and uh, how I use the relish in there. But thank you and check out CafeIsra.com for the recipe and tune in um, to my YouTube channel and subscribe, please. Thank you.